so today I am doing a Glossier kind of review slash get ready with me. If you guys don't know what Glossier is, it's basically a brand that's very skincare focused. So their slogan is skin first, makeup second. Their brand is super hyped up because of the aesthetic. And if you go on their website, on their Instagram, you'll see what I mean. They have such a pretty aesthetic. and Like their packaging is incredible. I'm sure you guys have seen it on Twitter and Instagram. This is not sponsored. I bought all of these products with my own money and I do have a lot because I just, I wanted to try their brand out and I love the aesthetic, which is really what brought me in. I'm gonna be reviewing the skincare that I have from them and also the makeup. So if you guys want to purchase any of the products that you see in this video, go to glossier.com slash reps slash canela, I think it is. I'll have it on the screen and down below. And this is where you can purchase any of these products and you also get 20% off when you shop on my link. And also you get free shipping on orders over $30. By the way, that's not like even sponsored. I just emailed them. I was like, please can I have a link with you guys? Like, I love you. And they did. You guys can rely that these are my honest opinions. And I really do like this brand, but there's some things, you know, is it worth it or not? So I hope you guys enjoy this video. And if you do, don't forget to give it a like as always. And if you're not already subscribed, it would mean the world if you subscribed because I upload every week. Mostly, I've been doing pretty good lately. So without further ado, let's just get right into the video. Okay, so first I used the Milky Jelly Cleanser to wash my face this morning. And I really, really like this one. It's super gentle, I would say. It kind of reminds me of the Cetaphil cleanser in a way, but it's actually better, I feel like. Because I feel like the other one clogs my pores, and this one doesn't. It's just very gentle and it just cleanses your skin it's called conditioning face wash so it's like good for dry skin and good for sensitive skin so then i used the glossier super pure serum and this is a niacinamide and zinc serum which is used to calm breakout prone skin and redness and i've been really liking this by the way this is not sponsored i don't know if i said that already but this is not sponsored i just love them so i found that i i do like this in the morning especially if i like had if like popped a pimple the night before which is gross but you know i like to use this in the morning just to keep calming the the redness side so i have a pimple right here and then like i always have redness right here and as you can see it you know it's it's not too red. I find that this actually does work and it's, it's been lasting me a really long time. I've been using it every day and I still have a lot left. So after that, for my moisturizer, I use the Glossier Priming Moisturizer and they actually have the Priming Moisturizer Rich, which is like a kind of like a heavier night cream. And I tried that and it broke me out. I didn't like it. It was way too rich for my oily skin. So, but I've been finding I really like this. Um, I feel like it just gives a really good base for my makeup. And it's not, it doesn't like make me more oily than I usually am. And it's just very soothing. I have no complaints about this. I wouldn't say it's like the best moisturizer ever, but I definitely really like this one. So then for sunscreen, which is really important, I use the Invisible Shield Daily Sunscreen. And this has SPF 35 in it. I really like this just for an everyday sunscreen because in case you didn't know, you have to wear sunscreen every single day because that is what combats aging and that's the only thing that will because sun is what makes your skin age faster so I wear this every single day now I really really like this sunscreen it's not waterproof so it's not like for like the beach but for everyday wear you know go to school whatever it's really really good um it doesn't leave me greasy at all like I have it on this is just it it leaves my skin really kind of like soft on the top it's not exactly mattifying but it definitely doesn't leave any greasy residue this is actually clear and it doesn't leave a white cast which is also amazing, like, thank you. So that is what I do on my skin in the morning. I've been trying it out consistently for, I would say, three weeks now, and I really like what it's done to my skin. I mean, I don't really see a major change, but I definitely, if you wanna try it out, I definitely recommend trying out their skincare. Then I use the Balm.com Universal Skin Salve as a lip balm, and I always do this. I just, I love this thing. Um, I would say it's not worth it because it's basically, Vaseline and castor oil mixed together. It's really cute and just great for on the go. This is $12 So in my opinion, it's not worth the money to buy this, but I like it a lot It's very moisturizing and I can use it on my my dry patches, too Okay, so now on to the makeup and the first thing I'm going to do is put on the Glossier perfecting skin tint and people, I feel like, have had mixed reviews about this, and same for me. And this is the color Dark, which their shade range is kind of like, eh. But, you know, it has good, like, staple shades, I guess. This one actually matches my skin perfectly, which is, like, really hard to do. So basically what this is, is just a, exactly what it says, a skin tint. It's not a BB cream, it's not 
a foundation. It's like literally just almost like another layer of your skin, but it just like kind of combats the redness and it really just adds like a nice glow to your face. And I found that for oily skin, this is not the best product at all because I feel like it makes me really oily throughout the day. I get oily anyway, but this one, like, I literally would, like, sweep off oil from my face. And I did, like, the same thing that I always do, like, set it with powder and everything, so. So I'm just gonna use it right now, and it says to shake well. It has a very liquidy consistency, um, and it comes in, like, this little dropper thing. And Glossier recommends using your hands to apply this, and that's what I do when I do wear this. So I just dot it on my face like that while I'm squeezing out. And to cover your whole face, I would say you need like 12 to 15 drops. And then I just like wipe off the rest. So now I'm just gonna rub it in. As you can see, it's very light coverage, but I do feel like it evens out my skin much more and it just provides a base for the concealer. And I do like the concealer, which is what I'm gonna do next. This is the Glossier Stretch Concealer and I'm also in the color dark. They recommend using the same shade so it can be like natural. So Glossier's slogan is skin first, makeup second. And I really like that because it's just super simple, but it just tells you like take care of your skin first because that's what's really going to make your makeup look good. I feel like their brand is very much about enhancing what you naturally have. It's like embracing your imperfections more than not. It still leaves your natural skin breathing through. Like my all my freckles still show through. Same with the concealer, but um, yeah, I don't know. I really like this like for a natural, if you're into the natural look, I would really recommend their products. I feel like it just gives you such a glow. Their stretch concealer looks like this. It's in a pot, which isn't my favorite thing in the world because like when I have my acrylics on, it's like really hard to scoop it out, but whatever. But I'm just gonna apply this under my eyes and like on my pimple and stuff. Okay, so that is, that's what the concealer looks like, and it's also a very dewy finish, which I actually really like. Even though I'm super oily, I like to be dewy anyway. It does cover up my eye circles. It evens out my skin tone even more. I actually really like this concealer. It's not cakey at all. Like, you, you can build it up really easily, and it feels great under the eyes and just on the skin in general. I would really recommend this. It's, I think, $18. I have, I'll have everything on the screen. So next is the Glossier Cloud Paint, and I have it in the color Dusk because I thought it would look best on my skin. I really, really like this blush. It's a seamless cheek color is what they call it but it's basically a cream blush and i love the concept it's called cloud paint and it's like in a little paint tube i don't know i just love their like aesthetic and i feel like that's what a lot of people like about them so basically i'm just gonna put this on oh also i put on the concealer on my eyelids just for like an eye primer also i didn't use any primer on my face beforehand just because i like to see how it lays on my skin naturally so you guys can see so the only thing about this is it squirts out really fast which is like why the top is so dirty so i'm just gonna squirt out a tiny little bit i get like this much barely any and i put it on the tips of my fingers and i'm just gonna apply it like this like smile and then up on top and I do this before I set my makeup and I always forget to do this because I go straight to setting my makeup so I never get to put this on because and I really like it little on the nose just for that flesh 
first look. And it really blends in perfectly. It blends so quickly. It just melts into my skin and leaves like such a natural flush. I really highly recommend this blush if you like cream blushes. It's also super quick, but I feel like it's buildable and it's very natural looking. And I just love it. So now I'm just going to set my face with the RCMA No Color Powder. And most of the products that I'm going to be using from net here on out aren't from Glossier just because they, they don't have like eyeshadows and more face makeup. I'm using all the products that I own. So I'm just going to powder my face. And I don't like to bake anymore just because I feel like it's way too heavy and my eyes always feel like they're going to fall off of my face when I bake because, I don't know, it's just... It feels very like cakey and like so I just powder with this big fluffy brush so now I'm gonna do my kind of not my signature thing but this is probably my greatest tip or and trick for face makeup for making it look natural is a color powder that matches your skin okay so now I have my face set I'm just gonna bronze up the skin with my Too Faced Chocolate Soleil bronzer which I just got and I really like So now that I'm all bronze, I'm just going to add a little bit of highlight, and this is the Anastasia Beverly Hills So Hollywood highlight. And I'm showing you guys what makeup I add on top, just so you can see how other products lay on top of the face products from Glossier. And I really like how it looks. Still very natural. I really love this highlight. Seriously, it's my all-time favorite. Glossier does have a highlight. It's like a cream kind of stick highlight thing, but I don't have that, so... That is my face makeup. So now I'm going to show you guys my all-time favorite product from Glossier. It is the Boy Brow, and I literally, I want to do an entire video on how much I love this little thing, okay? It is the best brow product I've ever used, like, for on the go, if you don't want to, like, fill in your eyebrows with the Anastasia, which is my other favorite eyebrow product. It's called the Boy Brow, and I have it in the color black because I have pretty dark hair and eyebrows. I will just show you and you'll see how good it is. So basically it's a tinted brow gel type thing, but it's not that because it almost fills in your eyebrows for you. It's so quick, keeps your eyebrows in place. It's not like sticky or stiff. It's the perfect eyebrow product if you like just wanna do it really quick and you want eyebrows on. Even though my eyebrows are already pretty, like not filled in, but they're naturally pretty like full, I guess. You can go look on their website and they have like a girl who has really light eyebrows and you can just see the magic of this product like seriously if you get one thing from this video get this this is the best product from Glossier hands down so this is what my eyebrow looks like with nothing on it so basically I apply this just kind of from starting from the middle out and then like in the front you'll see So, like, look at the difference. You see how perfectly it filled it in for me? So, let's do the other eyebrow, and this is more sparse, as you can see. So as you can see, this is what it looks like. It's almost impossible to mess up. 
because it's just so easy to apply. So now I'm going to do my eye shadow and my eyes off camera because Glossier doesn't have any mascara or eyeshadows, stuff like that yet. But uh, yeah, so I'm just going to do that off camera. Okay guys, so I'm back and I finished my eyes. It's kind of like my everyday makeup routine, so I didn't think I should show it. But an overview, I used the Tarlet in Bloom palette. Um, you've seen me do this look, I think, a million times before, but... I used Jet Setter, this one, and then the red one, and then I just put on mascara, and that's basically it. So, now for the finishing touch, I am going to use the Glossier Lip Gloss, and they just came out with this, and it's just a really pretty, clear lip gloss. It has the Glossier Pink tint to it. It's actually completely clear on your lips, but I just, I love their packaging. It's just, uh going to apply it to my lips. By the way, this thing, I don't even know if you can see it, but it's like a bug bite, and I don't know why a bug would bite me on my face. Like, that's my worst fear, but it's okay. Yeah, so sorry about that. I'm just going to apply this. It looks like this. So I really love this lip gloss. It's not sticky. It stays on for such a long time. Like, it goes on pretty thick, and that, I think that's what makes it stay for such a long time. It's actually hydrating because it has vitamin E oil in it, and it's super glossy, super cute. If you've seen, like, those pictures of lips with, like, perfectly glossy lips, it was from this campaign. So I would highly recommend this if you want super shiny, glossy lips. So that is my completed get ready with me slash review slash is it worth it, whatever. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you did, don't forget to give it a huge thumbs up. I always appreciate it, and if you're not already subscribed, please make sure to subscribe because I upload every week. If you want any of these products that you saw in this video, go to glossier.com slash canela, and you can get 20% off your first order and free shipping on orders over $30. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I love you all so much. Bye.